Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna talk about Hippo admin. So as you can see here on the screen, it's divided into three parts. So on the right side we have uh, the customer's info, then the agent chatting with the customer, and also but a few more fields of visitors info. On the left side we have a list of all the chats time wise, and then in this part is where the chats happen, and in this block you can type your message. Here we have an internal note in case you want to tag a fellow agent or a sales lead. Then we have saved replies, a bunch of replies that uh, help you save your time. Then we have this attachment icon from where you can attach a video, a picture or an audio. Then we have a bot. It asks for feedback or maybe you can set it according to you where you can ask for uh, customers info so moving ahead we have users tab here you can see a list of all the users that have been chatting to your agents you can add filters here so let's say i'm selecting somebody whose name starts with an a also i can apply multiple filters here so I'm also going to select somebody who logged in two days ago. So applying those two filters, I have a list of about mm, 10 matches. And here you can select multiple users and send all of them a message. So moving below, going into analytics, we have the volume trends here. So in this tab, you can analyze everything over a set period of time. So this graph is from 19 December to 18 January, and this shows the number of chats each day. Moving below, we also have the graph according to the days of the week. So as you can see, the trends are changing as I'm changing the days. Then we have time trends. We have two graphs here, one showing the average first response time and second showing the average closure time also from 19 December to 18 January. Then we have agent wise trends. You can see individual stats of every agent here, their average closure time, their average response time. Going into settings, we have agents, a list of all the agents over your platform. Then going into visitors info, we have a set of fields that uh, we get from the visitor once he starts chatting with the agent. Then we have default channels, I've selected support here. And uh, this is for uh, CSM. And here we have web widget appearance. So here you can set the overall feel of your web widget. Here you can select the background, the typing alignment. This is just a design of the way your widget looks. We also have automated visitor messages. So according to the setting, this message will be displayed to a visitor who spends about 10 seconds on my website. So office hours, it's an interesting feature. So let's say your office works from a nine to six basis, five days a week and a customer contacts you on a Saturday. So this message will be shown to the customer if he contacts you on a Saturday. Further below, we have saved replies as showed earlier. Uh, this is used by the agents and saves a lot of time when chatting with the visitor. Then you have your business profile, something that is shown to the visitor, the way your uh, business appears to the visitor. Then we have a list of add-ons. These are additional features you can add in your hippo further we have user rights you can set the user rights the rights that are given to the visitor so here here we have list of four rights that can be given to a customer i haven't selected anyone anything yet so further below we have ticket support uh, and uh, further below we have the hippo bot as shown earlier this can collect uh, the feedback and also collect information of the visitor the last the last option uh, that was added recently is this thing where 
you can chat over multiple platforms so let's say your customer isn't responding to your hippo chat and so you decide to send them an email or maybe message them on facebook so if they revert back the chat will be shown shown in your hippo bot and that's all for today thank you